Gone now, the old part. Heyman Creek was named for Charles Heyman, a sort of half-assed pioneer in a country that not many wanted to live in because it was poor and ugly and horrible. He built a shack. This was in 1876 on a little creek that drained the worthless hill. After a while, the creek was called Heyman Creek. Mr. Heyman did not know how to read or write, and considered himself better for it. Mr. Heyman did odd jobs for years and years and years and years. Your mules broke, get Mr. Heyman to fix it. Your fences are on fire, get Mr. Heyman to put them out. Mr. Heyman lived on a diet of stone ground wheat and kale. He bought the wheat by the hundred pound sack and ground it himself with a mortar and pestle. He grew the kale in the front of his chuck and tended the kale as if it were prize-winning orchards. During all the time that was his life, Mr. Heyman never had a cup of coffee smoke, a drink, or a woman, and thought he'd be a fool if he did. In the winter, a few trout would go up Hema Creek, but by early summer, the creek was almost dry and there were no fish in it. Mr. Heyman used to catch a trout or two and eat raw trout with his stone ground wheat and his kale. And then one day he was so old that he did not feel like walking anymore and he looked so old that the children thought he must be evil to live by himself and they were afraid to go up the creek near his shack. It didn't bother Mr. Heyman. The last thing in the world he had any use for were children. reading and writing and children were well, all the same, Mr. Henry thought, and ground his wheat and tended his cave and caught a trout or two when they were in the creek. He looked 19 years old for 30 years. And then he got the notion that he would die. And he did so. The year he died, the trout didn't come up Heyman Creek and never went up the creek again. With the old man dead, the trout figured it was better to stay where they were. Thank you.
the mortar and pestle fell off the shelf and broke. The shack rotted away, and the weeds grew into the cave. Twenty years after Mr. Heyman's death, some fish and game people were planting trout in the stream around there. Might as well put some here, one of the men said. Sure, the other one said. They dumped a can full of trout in the creek, and no sooner had the trout touched the water. Then they turned their white berries up and floated dead down the creek. <laughs>